First, what's unique about this home, some slate tile in the entryway here. The stairs have actually been modified to allow a larger entryway here compared to most of the Santa Barbara models. Usually the staircase ends in the middle of this area. So the modification here has allowed uh, more room down there. <clears throat> you can see here, we actually have a uh, projector on the ceiling. This may be included in the sale. It's a 3D projector, so you can actually watch 3D movies. When the curtains are closed here, the, the lighting is improved for, for the uh, video system, but it is plenty easy to see, even in the bright daylight. Uh, at night, it is superbly bright. Like I said, it is 3D, and uh, there are several glasses that we have that can be included with this projector. If you decide that you'd like to keep the projector, the glasses and other accessories would be included with it. Also, in our kitchen here, see I've done a lot of remodeling. Um, the glass, glass cabinets. Uh, this is very interesting. Right below us here, there's a trash can. And this is actually the garbage system. So there's those three chutes that go downstairs. There's a trash, a recycle, and aluminum can. So if you want to be conscious about uh, recycling, that makes it easy. Um, this cabinet is unique uh, to this particular home. This is built actually so the cabinet is overhanging the entryway. The typical cabinetry in this home, the cabinetry sticks out in front of the wall here and it really takes up a lot of space. So this is something I did to get more space in the home. So you can see is a very open, open area here. Uh, there is a space here that we put this sliding, this sliding uh, DVD rack here. <clears throat> the lighting here, this is actually adjustable color ambient lighting. It's uh, the LEDs, you can change it with a remote control and give different, different tones. Uh, inside the bathroom, this is the guest bathroom. And inside the guest bathroom, you see there's a mosaic floor, cell, stone, marble. <clears throat> there's actually a television built into the mirror. So this is the power button, and these allow you to change the channels and the volume and other uh, standard television features. So you can access the television controls uh, from the closet in the bedroom. <clears throat> also, in the bathroom here, we do have, this whole room is a wet room. There's a center drain here. The shower, the shower here allows you to wash the entire bathroom down, which is really great if you have pets or children. Because this is a wet room, uh, safety features, the light switches, are pneumatic. They are not electrical buttons, they are pneumatic buttons and again these air valves are actually controlling the switches that are up here inside this panel. So if you ever need to do any electrical work to the light switches that's how you access it. But being that it's pneumatic you cannot shock yourself if your hands are wet or the shower is on when you go to turn on the lights. Um, there is electrical in this bathroom and it is located in an outdoor style safety socket there. And then there's another one that's hidden back there inside this cabinet. <clears throat> so, as you can see, lots of glass, marble, um, jacuzzi tub. This is actually a functioning jacuzzi tub. And as you go into our other master, the master area here, See the uh, bedroom has some built-in shelving. This is what's unique though. The, the way I built the bathroom here, <clears throat> very similar to the other one. Few extra features though. It also has the TV built into the, bath, the mirror. The um, style is very much cave-like in here. It's all stone, stone, natural looking stone. Again, it is a, uh, center floor drain here. The whole room is a wet room. Water jets on the walls. And again, just like the other bathroom, you can change the channels here with these buttons. So, TV's nice. <clears throat> wet room's nice. This does actually also have a jacuzzi tub 
and which is separated from the main bedroom by this one-way glass. Notice when you're in the jacuzzi, uh, you have a nice view of the bedroom. But when you're in the bedroom, you have a view of a mirror. So it's a very unique system, but it also has the ability to open up. So when I lived here, we kept our television on the wall right over there. And we could sit in the tub. We could put our dinner right here. You can enjoy your dinner, desserts, wine, whatever, while you're sitting in the tub. Of course, you're going to want to put the drapes back up to give you some privacy there. <clears throat> but also, there's a nice countertop built in here with water. And again, here, because it's located next to the water and as well as in the bathroom, again, we have pneumatic switches for our lights <clears throat> for safety reasons. Also, here's something else I want to show you. It's very unique is the um, is the uh, water here. I'm going to turn the, turn the television off here with this power button. That's the power. And if you do come to take a look at this house and you want to test out the television, when you turn on the power, it's the bottom button. You push it and it makes a little beep. And it takes about 10 seconds to turn on. So if you push it and it doesn't turn on right away, just wait. And about 10 seconds later, you will see that the TV does actually turn on. Now also, uh, something very unique about this bathroom is the, uh, the water. The water, unlike most bathrooms, it doesn't go down, it goes up. So when you want to turn on the water, you can take a drink of water. You can wash your hands, you can wash your eyes. Um, it's very convenient. Very convenient for washing the face. So those are the basic uh, features that I put in this house and I hope you enjoy. Uh, it does also have um, remote controls for the lights and ceiling fan. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, but yeah, those are the those are the features I changed in this house. Uh, this is set up so I had a stacked laundry machine, but you can go side by side. You can put the dryer vented there. You can stack them up. I use stacked. Side by side works fine too. Also, one other thing, the home theater here that I was showing you earlier. Uh, where Avatar is playing right now. With this home theater, it actually has speakers built into the ceiling. So there's four surround sound speakers. All put in the ceiling. So if you opt to uh, purchase this home with the uh, projector and the stereo, um, with or without, I'm leaving the speakers behind. It's part of the house. So. I hope you uh, enjoy the modern home here. Just since I'm giving you the tour, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, balcony, nice view. And also we kept here because we found it works so convenient. It's a very low operating cost. We actually have a uh, local air conditioner here. This one works great. It is the, uh, it's a pretty industrial one we got from Home Depot. Um, this will allow you to run the air conditioner during the summer and pretty much keep this house very cool at around 75 bucks a month. So, thanks for watching.